if my horse is working good, his life's gonna be great. He's not gonna get loped near as much. Um, he's gonna get treats when he's done. Now, I'm a big believer in treats. Some people don't give treats. I give probably too many treats, but most of the time my horses work good. People, a lot of times they get emotional or they get angry and they, you know, technically, maybe the horse didn't work the greatest, it was caused by them, but they want to take it out on the horse, right? So for me, even if I knock my hat off my head and miss my calf, right, I take a second to regroup. Is it my fault, the horse's fault, it's the horse's fault. Okay, let's fix it now, right now. And if it's not, then reward it. When I was young growing up, we always, I mean, we rode 25 minimum to 30 head of cow horses every day. We started at seven o'clock in the morning and we finished at midnight every day. And uh, that's just what we did. And my dad taught me horsemanship before I really learned how to rope to win. There are days where it doesn't go good, trust me. There are days when I get so mad, it's better just to walk away, you know? Um, and there are days that I've lost my temper, right? Just being transparent and real. But the one thing I always try to do is self-reflect and say, okay, where did I go wrong? All right, we need to work on that. Where did I go right? Okay, good, I did a good job. As far as horsemanship, I mean, if you look at a lot of the greats, you know, Trevor Brazil, Roy Cooper, um, anybody who wins a world championship, they're on a great horse. And I've been blessed to have great horses, but I, I treat them good and I work them right. If they're working great, practice is very easy, it's very, you know, I ask a lot, but I don't pound on them. To get consistently to the finals, if you're a great horseman, you're going to get in that top 15 a lot more often than people that aren't.